welcome back to the Graceful Tangle YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the beach comber dishcloth. I am super excited about this tutorial and I hope that you are eager to learn how to crochet it. You can find the link to the free pattern on my blog in the description box below or you can find the PDF available in my Ravelry and Etsy shops which will also be linked down below. I'm going to be using a wee crochet dishy for this project in the colorway mint and a size H crochet hook. You can find all of the materials down below as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the tutorial. Alrighty guys, so again I'm going to be using a wee crochet dishy in the colorway mint for my dishcloth, but you can use any worsted weight cotton yarn that you would like. I'm going to start off by making a slip knot and chaining five. So here's my slip knot. I have it on my size H hook and I'm going to chain five. So for row one, we are going to half double crochet into the third chain from the hook and in each chain across. So there's our second half double crochet and then our third one is placed into this last chain stitch. Now this is one block and from now on we're going to count our stitches by counting the amount of blocks that we have. So each block is composed of three half double crochet stitches and this chain two space. The chain two does not count as a stitch. It is just what we're going to be working into which will make more sense in just a little bit once we get a little bit further along. So there is row one. For row two, we're going to chain five. We are increasing right now, so we're going to add a block to each end, to, to each to one end at a time, I should say. So I chain five. Now I'm going to insert my hook into the third chain from the hook again, and half double crochet in each chain across for a total of three. And then I'm going to slip stitch into this chain two space. So just slip stitch into that like so. Chain two. And work three half double crochets into that stitch. Just like so. Now for row three we are going to start our repeat. So we're going to chain five. Oh, my yarn is a little stuck there. There we go. So chain five, half double crochet in the third chain from the hook and in each chain across. Just like that. And then slip stitch into the next chain two space, which is right there. So slip, slip stitch into that, then chain two again and work three half double crochets into that chain two space. And we're just gonna repeat that all the way across. Now for row three, you're only gonna repeat it one more time, but as we have one more rows made, there's gonna be more blocks per row. So I'm gonna show you that row again. Chain five, turn, and work a half double crochet into each of the last three chains. Then we're going to slip stitch into the next chain two space, chain two, and work three half double crochets into that chain two space. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way across. Slip stitch into the next chain two space, chain two, and work three half double crochets into that chain two space. And that is our increase row. So we are going to repeat this row until we have a total of 13 rows. And then I will meet you back here. Oh, I chained too many on that time. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, so again, we are going to repeat this row until we have a total of 13 rows. And then I will meet you back here at the end of row 13. And we will start decreasing our dishcloth to form a square. Okay, so I have finished my 13 rows, which means I should also have 13 blocks going all the way across. 
Now I'm ready to decrease to form a square and to finish off my dishcloth. So I'm going to start off by chaining one and turning my work. Now I'm going to slip stitch in each of these three half double crochets from the previous row to decrease by one square. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the next chain two space, chain two, and work three half double crochets. We're just going to repeat this step all the way across. And what we have done is decreased by one square. So when we slip stitch into the next chain two space, you can see that this edge is now going to be flat. So I am just going to repeat this step, slip stitching into the next chain two space, chain two, and work three double crochets all the way across. Okay, so I have worked all the way across my row, but I have not slip stitched to this last chain two space. So to finish off this row, since it's our decrease row, we're just going to slip stitch into that chain two space and then chain one and turn. We're not going to do any more stitches into that space. And now we're just going to repeat this row all the way until we have one block remaining. So again, it is chain one and turn single slip stitch, excuse me, slip stitch in each half double crochet across this block, slip stitch into the next chain two space, chain two, and half double crochet, and then we're going to work a block into each chain two space until we have one block remaining. So I'm going to get to that point and then I will show you what to do next. Okay, I just have one block remaining, so I'm just going to slip stitch into that chain two space, chain one and turn, and now I am just ready to work my next row. So you're going to repeat that decrease row all the way until you have one block remaining, and then I will show you, and then I will meet you back here and show you how to finish off your dishcloth and add a single crochet border. Alrighty, so I have worked my decrease row until I have just one block remaining, which is right here. And now I'm going to slip stitch to the last chain two space. And I'm not going to cut my yarn. I'm going to go right from this point to work my single crochet border. Now, if you do want your border to be a different color, you can cut this yarn and join um, to any space along any edge. But for this specific dishcloth, I would recommend just working to pattern. Because if you switch colors for this style, it can just look a little bit messy because the stitch is very different than what we've worked in the past. So I'm going to leave my yarn attached and I'm going to start single crocheting around the entire square. So I'm going to start off by chaining one and working a single crochet in the same space. Now I'm going to work two single crochets along this set of three half double crochets that we see here. So that's two. And then I'm going to work two single crochets in the next space. So all I'm going to do is two single crochets per block all the way down. And I'm going to do that on every side. So two single crochets in each block. Once I get to the corner, I'm going to work three single crochets in that corner to produce a nice rounded edge. 
and I'm almost there. Again, we're just working two single crochets per block. Okay, I've made it to the corner. Oh, went a little bit off the camera there. And now I'm going to work three single crochets into this corner. Just like so. And that just makes it nice and rounded so that it stays flat and a nice square. And I'm just going to repeat that across every side. Two single crochets per block. So I'm going to work like this until I get to my to where I began this round, and I will meet y'all back here. Okay, so I have worked all the way around my entire dishcloth, and now I'm just going to slip stitch to this very first single crochet. Cut my yarn, just like so, and then I will just weave in my ends, and my dishcloth will be complete. I love how this one turned out. I hope you enjoyed following along with me as I crocheted this dishcloth today. It was so much fun to film this tutorial and I love teaching you guys how to make amazing things. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you go ahead and do that. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the pattern and all of the materials linked in the description box below. And I will chat with you all again next time. Bye. Thank you.